you're gonna need two of each scarves from Dollar Tree for a total of eight. And um, here, all I'm doing is folding the scarves in half. Uh, just make sure you get it laid out flat. And um, you don't have to be perfect. Um, it's, it's a rag wreath, so none of them have to be perfect. Um, I just get it laid as, possible, as flat as possible uh, to make cutting a little easier. And um, I'm going to use my rotary blade to cut the scarves. It just seemed to be a lot easier to cut it with a rotary Excuse me, lost my voice. It's a lot easier to cut it with a, a, rosary, a rotary <laughs> cutter rather than scissors. Uh, but if you don't have a rotary cutter, go ahead and cut it with your scissors, especially if you got sharp ones. Um, that'll help you a lot better. I'm using my little small rotary uh, blade for this, um, but you can use a bigger one. Um, but I forgot to tell you, uh, you want to cut your strips uh, three inch wide, um, or that's how I did mine. You don't have to do three inches wide, uh, but that's what I did mine at. And um, when you get to the base of the um, scarf uh, to the center, you may end up with a wider piece, wider than three inches. Just cut it in half. Um, It'll, it'll work, I promise you. And with this, this is my second scarf I'm gonna cut. I thought I would try a little different and cut it lengthwise or fold it lengthwise instead of just in half. Um, but if you do it this way, you're only gonna be cutting one strip at a time um, if opposed to you laying it, you know, folding it just in half, uh, you're gonna cut two strips at a time the other way. And this way it's just one strip, but you know, whichever is easiest for you, I just wanted to show you two different ways that you could do it.
what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your strips and you're gonna go on those outer two runs there and just tie a knot. Uh, don't over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you're gonna build, uh, bend your wreath form and you don't wanna do that. So just tighten it snug. And just make sure you're alternating your scarves. Um, your, that way you'll have your colors alternated all throughout your wreath. Um, in each section here, in between those um, little runs, I put 16 pieces total on the, on the outside. Okay, now that you've gotten your whole outside done, you're gonna go into the two inner runs and you're gonna do the same thing. Just make sure you alternate your colors and tie your knots. And in between those sections, I started out with 11 uh, pieces, uh, but I noticed I was running short. So I actually took it down to 10 in some of them. So I kind of alternated like 11, 10, 11, you know, just so I'd have enough. Um, if you want your wreath fuller, I would suggest you going ahead and buy more than eight scarves. So that way you can make it fuller than what I had.
Okay, guys, when you get done, just fluff it up really nice with your hand and um, just uh, get you two pipe cleaners. Well, of course, you don't really need two pipe cleaners. Uh, you can cut one in half and you'll be fine, I, I believe. So, But here I'm just trying to decide which skull I want to use. I like the purple one, um, where the purple eyes. Uh, it really brought the purple out in the wreath and the teal one brought out the teal colors in the wreath. And I love them both. I thought they were gorgeous. Um, but I do believe I'm going to go with the purple one. And, um, of course, then I lay some other ones on here, like these that sit on your desk. Um, if you use these smaller ones and you want to put it at the bottom like this, uh, just hook it to the bottom there and then take you a bunch of roses and stick above its head. I think that'd be really, really cute. Um, or... You can use that garland, and I'll pull it up here in just a second. Um, it's got all the little heads and the hats, like this one here. Um, you can take that thing apart and layer those all around on the edges and have smaller skulls. Thought that was right cute, but I'm gonna go with the big one. So just cut your little tag off at the top. And what I do with the head up here at the top after I put the uh, pipe cleaner through is I go and I put, um, Pull apart those rags up at the top or scarf pieces and just run it through on the um, the frame itself. And you can see there on the back how pretty that is on the back. And um, just twist tie your uh, pipe cleaner really good and tight, real snug. Not over tight, just snug. And, um, and just flip it back over. But what I do is I take those scarves and I pull them out around the top of the head and make it look like it's sitting back in it. It kind of makes it look like it has hair. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of neat. So here, I'm just trying to eyeball where I want my pipe cleaner to be. And um, all I'm gonna do is hot glue it on, on the back of the, the face or the skull here. And you just need a half a piece, like I said. So you don't have to overkill on your pipe cleaners. And, um, and just give it a few seconds and let that cool down. And um, then, then I'm gonna lay the wreath down and I'm gonna hook it to the, um, to the bottom of the wreath form. all nice and snug and just fluff your um, scarf pieces out around its face and um, I'm gonna try to figure out what I want to go around on my wreath um, I've got some little googly eyes that's what I call them googly eyes from the Dollar Tree they're co different colors and I would I think I may lay some on the the wreath here I'm gonna try to figure out if I like them or not uh, so I'm going to use some of the bigger ones. It's got bigger ones and little ones in it. And so I just lay it on there and kind of look at it to see if that's something I may want or not. Okay, now I'm going to lay my ribbons out here and see which one I want. I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it, if I'm going to go black and white or, or a different color. But uh, I end up going with this purple. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to do an alternate color on it. Um, and I, I think I'm just going to go with this purple, though. Honestly, I think it'd just be pretty. And maybe do a tail from one of the other colors. So I'm folding my ribbon end over end here. Um, I laid it down on my um, cutting board there, and I measured out about 11 inches, uh, the whole piece, you know, from end to end there. And um, But I want it to have... Uh, four loops on each side so i'm counting here to see how many loops i had and um, so that's all you want to do is get four loops on each side and then i'm going to pinch it in the center and i'm going to pull up my colors here and i end up going with the the uh, spider web as my tails and so i'm just eyeballing about how long i want them so but just pinch your ribbon in the middle 
and then get you some floral wire and wrap it around it so that um, it holds it all together with your tail and your, your center of your ribbon, your loops, I guess I should say. <laughs> and I just eyeballed the length of that tail to, depending on how long I wanted my tail. So you make it as long as you want. And um, just pinch it all together and then take your floral wire and wrap it around and around and around until you get it all secure. And then cut off the floral wire, leaving a tail on your wire because you're going to need that wire to hook to your uh, wreath form. And um, I end up going to the side of the uh, Sugar Skull's chin there uh, rather than straight on. I was going to put it down underneath kind of like a bow tie. Uh, but then I decided just to, to kind of put it off to the side. And um, But here I'm just fluffing up my um, my bow, which I shouldn't have really done until I've actually put it on the wreath. And Because you're going to mush it and do all kinds of good stuff to it until you get it to the way you want it. And um, I do dovetail my ends here on my tail. And that's just cutting from the center to the edges to make it have that little um, V on the tips. So I go to the side here and I move all my scarfs out of the way and just find whatever run you want to hook your uh, bow on. This depends on how you want your bow to hang as to where you're gonna, you're gonna hook it to your frame. And so I just go, uh, um, you know, make sure I secure it very well on the back by looping it uh, several times to the frame. Okay, I'm fluffing my bow, and I'm not real pleased with how it's laying on the wreath itself once you pick it up. Oh, here I'm testing them eyes out again. <laughs> I don't know. I really like those little eyes. So I'm just looking all around trying to figure out how I want to do it. Oh, and then I found these skulls that were laying up there, and I thought, hmm, those might be neat. <laughs> so anyway... I get some of this, I don't know what you call this, sticker paper, uh, but it's got little uh, rhinestones and skulls on it. And I cut off a piece of that couple of those little rhinestones. And um, once I pulled the backing off these, the sticky stuff come off with it. And they would not stick to the skulls. One of them did, the rest of them I could not get. So I ended up um, taking hot glue and just gluing the eyes, the little rhinestones, into the eyes of the skulls. So just be careful here and don't make sure your glue is not too hot because if it is too hot, you will um, melt your little skull. So just put a little dot of glue in those eyes and stick that um, little rhinestone right in there. I, it really turned out kind of cute. And just take some glue and put on the back of his head and stick him on the wreath wherever you want. I put four on. So, and I kind of got them stuck all around on the wreath. And there you see where I have got them. Just kind of four stuck around in there. And then I found these laying in one of my drawers. 
uh, the bats and the butterflies or the moths, I guess what is what they're supposed to be, but they're black with silver on them. And I thought, ooh, those would be cool to stick on there. And they clip. So all I do is clip them right onto the the sugar skulls um, sign there. Um, they hang stick just perfect on there. And I put the little bat up towards the top. And um, in a minute, you're going to see where I take and um, I bend the wings and kind of make them look like they're flying and make them kind of look more realistic uh, sitting on the skull itself. But it really, really made the the wreath to put those on there. It just, I don't know, it made it pop. Okay, so I told y'all I wasn't real crazy about where my wreath or my bow was hanging and how it was hanging. So I end up gluing my bow down toward the back. I don't, it just would not uh, hook on there the way I wanted it to, even with the wire behind it. So I end up hot gluing it down uh, just to make it hold better and, and look prettier right there toward the, the chin there where I wanted to put it. And um, I just fluff it up and make it look kind of neat. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please like and subscribe and share and um, just hope you enjoyed it. Thanks guys.